Hi, how is everyone? Hopefully everyone is good. It's Friday, yay, and it's lunchtime Friday, so we're having fun on the Friday. Um, just going to pull myself up here so I can see my comments. I don't want to see, hear my comments, or hear me, I just want to see me. So I can see my comments, make sure I'm live in the right place. Make sure so I'm not seeing me. So far, I'm not seeing me. Okay, now I see me. I'm live in the right place. Yay, yay, yay. Hey, y'all. Y'all come on in. Um, I'm going to post the link here. I think this is the right leap. <laughs> I hope it is. How are you all? Hope y'all are having a great Friday. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Brenda. I think I saw Dee and Cindy on. Hi, hi, hi. Thank you for sprinkling. Hi, everyone. So if you haven't joined me yet for the, if you haven't signed up to join me, I should say for the paint and retreat, there is still time to do that. We're going to have so much fun that week. I won't be live on my page at all because I'm going to be live in the private group. And we're going to be doing this. We're going to be live Monday through Thursday. And so we may even have to extend a day if we need to. We can. If not, that's okay too. Um, but we're going to be doing this mermaid. She's a 12 by 16. She has glass and resin on her. I'm going to walk you through all the safety of that and doing that, if you wish. And then we're going to be doing this amazing little sea turtle, her little friend. We get to name all of these during the paint and retreat. We'll be naming them. And then we're doing a functional art, and that is a bag. So cute. Whether you're going to the beach or whether you're just for groceries, whatever. If your area is like my area, they're now charging for plastic bags. So you, we bring our own bags. Um, they charge us five cents for bags. And the plastic bags, if you buy them, they're so thin that you can't even make it from... Hardly from the grocery store home without them like ripping and tearing and throwing your groceries all over the place. So they're not even worth the five cents you pay for them. And so um, I forgot my bags the other day when I went to the grocery store. And so I bought the bags, you know, the, the little grocery bags, the little plastic ones. And three of them ripped before I even made it into the house. Groceries everywhere. I was so mad. And I didn't even. <laughs> it's every store here. Every store. If you buy plastic bags. You pay five cents a bag. Yep. Seriously. And so. And they're not even worth bringing home. Because like I said. I, I got them. Because I left my bags at home. And three of them ripped before I even made it in. I didn't have anything in them. Like it was, it, it wasn't like I had, thank, thankfully I didn't have milk in them or something heavy or something that would break. Um, I had a box of cookies and some chips in one and some bread that was in one that ripped. And then I had, I don't know, I forgot, oh, some cheeses and some um, deli meat and some hamburger in one that ripped. And I forgot what was in the third one that ripped. Well, it's nice that they're durable. If they were durable and they were like, you would be like, okay, I don't mind doing that. You have to pay 10 cents at Sprouts and they're very durable. My husband has used the same one. And so if they're durable, that's fine. But these are so thin, like you can put your finger right through them and obviously spill them everywhere. But we we're talking about the paint and retreat. And so we are going to have so much fun with that next week. 
And today we've been on the quest for this pearl, right? And so we've been painting all of our friends up there on the wall. Let's see, let me move a little bit like that. And you can see all of our friends. So we've got our crab. His name is, what was his name? Uh, Crazy Charlie. And then we got Slim Shady, our seahorse. And we got Larry, Moe, and Curly, our jellyfish. And yesterday we painted, um, oh, what, what did we call him? Oh, Spencer, Spencer the lobster. And so today we are making our way to the pearl. And so you pay eight cents a bag in Washington State. Wow, Sheila. Well, we pay five cents a bag, so it's not that much difference, but still. And I get it. We want to cut down on the plastics in the ocean, right? And the plastics and all of that. But at least if you make it, my thing is, and you make us pay for it, make it at least so we can get the groceries from the grocery store into the house without the bags busting everywhere and throwing our stuff all over the floor, all over the ground. And so, you know, it's kind of like, what the heck, right? Well, we're going to have some fun today doing this pearl. And um, I got an hour, so I got to, I got to move, move, move. Got both my orders. Yay! I'm so glad. Hopefully you love them. I added some extras. Hopefully you like the little freebie things I put in there. I know that there were um, little scraps, but I felt like if you were going to do earrings or the things I had shown, they would be perfect for those. And uh, You can get a lot of stuff out of those little um, pieces, even though some of them were, were used or they were a little bit taken off of them. Right, and then so then you just throw them away and you're just adding to the landfill. I'm like, I, I paid five cents for them, but I'm adding them to the landfill because they're no longer any good and you got to throw them away because they're ripped down the side or a big old hole in the bottom and no, you know, you can't use them for anything. And so, I mean, we do recycle, but... Well, I don't say I recycle. I don't recycle per se, but I do because my, where I take my trash, I make sure like we don't have to recycle it where I take it, they recycle it. And so they um, are a recycling facility that you, you give, you give them their, your trash and they recycle it supposedly for you. Now, have I investigated to make sure they do that? No, but I take them at their word that they do that. <laughs> Like, I'm not going to go, like, video camera and investigating it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not doing all that. Like, I'm just going to take them at their word. All right. Let me grab a, something to put some paint on here. Um, and so... Yeah, I'm not into that level of checking up on them. Hey, Teresa. Exactly. You're going to have no choice to throw away the, the, the bag and, you know, you're just adding to the landfill or whatever. I mean, they do supposedly recycle. And so um, that's that's good. All right. A per, uh, clamshell with the pearl because we have found the pearl. And so we want it to be open, right? And so let's just draw out what we think we want here. I don't know, something like that, right? It, it's not going to be exactly like that because I think we need to come over this away just a little bit. And then this one is going to come like this. And then we're going to have kind of a bottom like that. And we're going to come over like this. And then we're going to have kind of like something like that. Right. And so we're going to we're going to pull out some fun stuff and we're going to have some fun with this today. So that's kind of our base. I'm going to go back to those same colors we've been using. So Caribbean cooler, 
These are Pink Pixie paints. I love my Pink Pixie paints. Um, I love all paint though, guys. Honestly, I don't I don't know that there's a paint that exists that I don't love. And so um honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I do love these paints and I love them for lots of reasons. But um their metallics are really what got me drawn into them because the metallics are just so, so, so awesome. Y'all, I'll show you if I have time what we did in my private group last night. I've got to post a few things for them today for some wording because my wording is not good. But in my private group, I'm going to ask, I have a friend who does lettering and I'm going to ask her if she wants to come in and give a little lesson. And I think she, she may. And so, but we're going to have some fun coming up. I got some fun things planned. I can't announce them all right now because I don't have all the details worked out, but we're going to be having some fun. So if y'all are new to me, come make sure you follow my page so you can get updates. If you want a reminder of when I'm going live, you can type hashtag remind. I think it's remind or maybe reminder and you'll get details for how you can join my um, remind app. And I send out little texts when I'm going live. I also have telegram, but I forget my telegram. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I forget to do that one sometimes. All right, so this is definitely sitting on the bottom of the ocean. So we're going to put some of that bottom of the ocean in there. Whoop, my nose is just allergies, I guess. I don't know. I don't guess it's allergies. We've had too much rain for allergies to, to be an issue right now. <laughs> but it has rained nonstop here practically for like three days now. <laughs> I won't say nonstop. It probably has stopped at some points, but... It's been very, uh, mostly rain out all day. <laughs> we got puddles in the yard and Kai is doing real good, but he's still very like <laughs> motivated by those puddles, right? And so Kai is my border collie. If y'all don't know, he's 18 months old and his favorite things are balls. He loves to play with his balls. And jumping up and down in water puddles and mud puddles. That's his thing. I am using chai latte. And then I had the Carib Caribbean cooler and tropical dream with a little bit of blackberry cobbler mixed in. Yes, I know, Teresa. I said we are done with it. Like, we're over the rain here. Like, please go away for a little bit after, like, day five of rain. Um, and y'all are, like, dying for it and having, like, massive heat and all of that. And mm, hopefully y'all are getting some coolness. I heard, I, mom was telling me that she heard on the news um and y'all let's just say a prayer speaking of the news um for those family members who um learned that their loved ones were uh are not coming back from this uh submersible yesterday it was such sad news coming out of that that you know there was some hope that maybe when they heard those noises but unfortunately those noises were not them and um, so, yeah, but she was telling me while we were talking, well, we were talking about that. And then she said we were talking about the weather, too. And she was telling me, like, how hot San Antonio, Texas was and that it was it was like 114 degrees yesterday. Heat index. I'm like, that is crazy, crazy hot so this is cream puff i want some off-white right i don't want it to be 
And then we're going to have some fun with this. Um, I'm almost out of my cream puff, guys. I think I have... I've got to look in my box over there. I think I have a bigger one than I had at mom's, but I don't know that I do. I'll have to have to look. Not that's got to go on my order because I'm out. I don't even think I have enough. Let me let me see if we have. Let me see if not. I'm gonna have to make up a little creamy, which I can do. But if I have a bottle, that would be so helpful. I do. I thought I did. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, yeah, um, I was, it was just so sad. My mom was saying that she heard, or I guess, I don't know, with the same news that was talking about it, that the, the, the son that was on there with his dad, he was 19 years old, I think they said. I thought he was 16, but mom said he, they said he was 19. And he um, was kind of reluctant to go. He was a little scared to go, they said. But that he went for bonding time with his dad. I can't imagine being his mom. And she now has lost her husband and her son. I mean, I don't know if mom and dad were together, but... Who knows? But still, at some point, there was love there. I'm sure there probably still is. But, you know, just say a prayer. Okay, so we're just going to get some color on our shell, right? That's really what our main goal is right now, is just to get color on our shell. I might actually take this down just a little bit. Maybe my shell doesn't have to be that deep. So we're going to... We're going to pull this down. We're going to put that little wavy line. We're going to bring that wavy line down just a little bit um, or further down. Just because I don't think it would be quite that deep. Maybe. I don't know. This is be holding a pretty big pearl. So maybe. Maybe it would. All right. We're just getting color. We're just getting paint on canvas right now. We'll worry about all the other little details in a little bit. But there is the start of our um, pearl. I'm going to go into a little bit of that chai latte and get a little darker creamy color. So tell me, anybody got any fun plans for the weekend? I don't think I have anything. My sister and my dad left, and the kids left today to go to nationals. They'll be in Michigan, Detroit area. Um, for nationals, for ice skating, theater on ice. Their theater on ice team, my niece and my nephew skate on. Let's have a nationals. I'll say a prayer for them too, for their safe travels and their and their team doing well. Those girls and boys, they work hard. It's a it's a lot of commitment and a lot of work. So they do they they put in a lot of a lot of hours for this trip. A lot of hard work. 
one of the girls yesterday fell at practice and hurt her knee like really bad. And so they don't know exactly what that means for the team for this week or next week when they um, are going to be performing. And so it's not good. It's really not good. She, she did some serious damage to her knee. And so... How y'all liking that clam so far? Hopefully y'all are liking it. And hopefully y'all have some fun plans for the weekend. Y'all are quiet. Y'all always so quiet with me. One of these days, it's going to be like Chatty Kathy on here when I come on. And it's going to be like so many people talking. <laughs> I'm not even going to be able to keep up. That's the dream. We're going to make their little scallops up here. We want them to actually I'm going to switch brushes real quick. This is where like a filbert brush, a little rounded brush comes in real handy. Because then you can just let the brush work its magic. For you and you don't get the flatness of the brush that um, the flat brush and so You said, I do. I do. You have plans for the weekend? I don't know. What, what's your plans for the weekend? Okay. Now we got our little scallops going. We want those little scallops to be in there, right? And just deep in the center just a little bit. We're not going to keep it this dark. I just am starting out like this. So I have some base to work with. And so that's just kind of the base that we're going to have. I want to go ahead while I've got and just put in some lines here for my scallops, right? Family reunion. Oh, fun, fun, fun. They're always fun. I can't even tell you the last time I have been to a family reunion. It has been a long time. We used to have family reunions kind of regularly when my grandma and stuff was living, but then it's kind of died off a little bit we haven't had them I guess everybody busy and I mean I get it I am too but it's kind of sad and so I can remember like having fun with all the family members this is my dad's side of the family that used to have a lot we used to have a reunion every year. And my mom's side of the family, not so much. But that was smaller and we were kind of always together. So it wasn't like you needed to have a reunion because you were always, you were always together with them. And so you saw them all the time. My mom's dad's side of the family kind of all lived kind of nearby each other. 
um, because my grandfather owned a lot of land and he, as his kids or my great grandfather, I should say her grandfather. And as their kids got married, he would just parse off a little bit of the property and, and say, here, here's, here's your land. You can build your house. You can do whatever. So, and they were like, okay, that's what we gotta do. They were dumb. Hey, Catherine, thank you for sprinkling the love. How are you today on this Friday? We are doing this clam because we have found the pearl. All right. No, my parents don't live on part of my land, but the part of their, um, yeah, they're living on part of original farmland. Yeah. <laughs> yep. My mom was raised in the house that they live in now. And my, I and my sister were raised in the house. And... So, yeah. And now, of course, um, my, my sister, she lives in my great aunt's house. Um, and pretty much she's the only one left. The rest of them have passed away. And their houses sold, and you know, um, so there's only two of the houses that are still in, I guess, what you would consider the family, um, that originated, and so, and neither one of them are the house that, like, my mom's grandfather lived in. I want to just do a little bit of red and mix it with that cream and get a very light pink. I just want to put a little, you know how they have that like little membrane. I don't know if it's pink, but mine's going to be pink. And so, yeah, my sister lives two doors down from my mom and dad, which makes it really nice. I live about six and a half miles away. <laughs> Actually, it's more like seven, probably. Maybe seven and a half. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> it takes me about 15 minutes or so to get there. Somewhere between 12 and 15, depending on traffic. So we're all pretty close to each other. Better name this one Shelly. We could name this one Shelly. Yeah, it is close. It is close and it is nice because, you know, then we get to do stuff. We get to see each other. We get to, you know, have all the fun. And. Um, And so, it is kind of nice to be that close to family. When you like your family. <laughs> if you don't like your family, well, that might be a problem. <laughs> 
not everybody can get along with their family. All right, I'm going to dry this. And that's okay, too. So we're about halfway in, and we've got our shell done, which is pretty awesome. We're going we're gonna to add a little something special to this in a minute. I'm going to add a little something else to this that you might not expect to. We're going to try. I've been dying to use it. I've been ha I had it out the whole week and I haven't used it. And so, Um, I have this stuff called, yeah, you are kind of stuck with your family, but hopefully, you know, I mean, it's important to try to have good relationships with your family, I think, but sometimes, sometimes folks can make that impossible. And so, you know, feelings and all of that can get hurt really quickly. So... Um, my great aunts, my sister and I, we used to fight when we were little, like fight like cats and dogs, like fight. When I say fight, I mean fight. And of course we were young. She's, it's five years difference between us. And, you know, we were young and my great aunts used to tell me, tell us all the time, all the time. That's the only sister you will ever have. So, love her and be friends with her. And we were friends. I'm not saying we, we didn't like each other. We loved each other very much. Like, we could fight like cats and dogs, but no one else could, like, <laughs> no one else could fight us, right? Because then you would have two. Um, and today, that's still true. Like, you know, I mean, we, we don't fight today. We, we, we don't fight at all. Um but still, like, you mess with one, you've messed with both. And so, like, we're still very much that way. Um, just want to mix this up good. This is called expand paste. And we're going to put some crustaceans on our shell. That's what sisterhood is all about. Sisterhood, brotherhood. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's what it's all about, right? And so we're going to put some crustaceans and we're going to see how this works. I'm just going to use my palette knife. I just kind of want to add a little bit just to my shell, right? Where maybe some barnacles or something like connected to it, you know? And I don't know. I don't know if barnacles get on the shells or not, but we're just going to have fun with it and just see what this does, right? We're not going to. This is called expand paste. And so we're just having fun. <laughs> Might create little little something something happening out in our um, ocean floor, right? Just a little something. Just see what it does. Maybe a little bit right there. Now you put this on 
And then for it to expand and do its thing, you have to have heat. And so, they do, they exist in, in oceans. And so, they even exist in like lakes and stuff like that. You have to get them off the boats and stuff that's sitting up for a while. We're going to see what this does. It should expand. Oh, that's pretty cool. We're going to have some fun with this through a stencil at some point. I might have my heat gun just a little too hot. I might have burned it a little bit. I'm going to try moving it a little more. Not be quite so close, right? Yeah, just something different, right? So it's not all the same. I'm kind of loving what I'm seeing. It's perfect for, I mean, it makes like the perfect stuff. <laughs> I got a big old bubble. I don't know if you can see this yet. I'll, wait till I hold it up. You're not going to believe what I've got. This is making me very happy. This is something I just, I just got this. I haven't had it very long at all. And I don't even know if I ordered like just me one or if I ordered um, my website some. I don't know. I have to look. I don't even remember. I'm hoping I have some for the website. Now I'm going to have to have some for the website. The more heat you give it, the more it expands. <laughs>
Y'all, look. Can you see? Look what I have. Look how it's like, do you see that? It is cool. And it's hard. I mean, it's like, it's, I mean, some of them are like a little bit like touchy. You touch them, but most of them are hard. Like, I bet when they dry completely, they're going to be hard. Like, this one right here, if I touch it, it kind of pushes down. It has air in it, but, like, that's hard. Most of them are hard. This one has a little bit of, nope, that's hard now. That one right here has a little bit of air in it. This one right here has a little bit. But, I mean, I'm pushing pretty hard. It's just, it goes down, but it pounces right back up. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is cool. All right. Now I'm like, what? What? How do I? What do I want to do with them? I kind of want them to be a little bit dark because I want them to be like attached to my shell, right? So I want to give them a little bit of darkness. And then I want to lighten them. So I'm going to use a little bit of a brown and a black together. I'm thinking. Oh, I somehow got. I think I, I might have drooled on them, guys. No, I'm just kidding. It's from my brush. It's water from my brush. I did not drool. But I wanted to drool because it's so cool. Yeah, I'm going to use some wax. I've got some wax here. I'm going to use some wax in a different way. But I could use some wax. I could use some dark wax on them. Um, and we might come back and use a little dark wax on it. But I'm thinking let's get some paint on them first. Especially like on the bottom of them. And I kind of just want to get the area where the um, barnacles are, right? And so we're going to get that dark first. And then we'll put some light back on top and lighten them. But we want that contrast. So we want that dark to be in there. and so we've got that in there we got that dark in there right because it's kind of like attached itself to our shell so we kind of want to just take up and maybe it's attached itself to, I don't know, something else on the seafloor. You never know what. Okay. I am loving it too. I started to say I'm loving it. You know what I'm tempted to do? I know where we're going to paint a big old um, a big old a uh, pearl but I'm tempted to put the expand paste in a big old circle and like let it blow up what do y'all think I'm tempted to do that um I mean I could paint a circle and then and then put the paint on top 
I don't know. We can try that and see how that works. Um, I think it's a little bit of this dark that I've got going. I want the right color. I'm not getting the right color right this minute. So I'm just mixing everything. And I want to darken this whole area right here where my shell comes together. I want to darken that area in there. And then darken down into here a little ways. And then darken up into here a little ways. We I think darken that. That gives us a little depth into our shell. Makes it look like you know it's opening and closing or pixie dough. I could do pixie dough too. And create a little a little pearl. We want a big pearl. Oh, a big pearl because this is like the pearl of the ocean, right? This is like the 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 one you want, right? Like the one you like, like the million dollar one, or maybe even maybe even a little more than a million dollars. I don't know. I want to give a little bed for a pearl that's just a little bit darker than the rest. Okay, now we're going to have a little fun with some wax real quick. And I'm actually going to use some rub-on pigment. This is Forest Rain. And this one is Midnight Ocean. Right, it's like the Hope Diamond, only it's, it's the ocean version of it. And we're going to put this on our, um, on our little shell. If I can use my words, Amanda, use your words. And we're just having fun. I want to just put some of this on. I think this is how I want to do this. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm just going to rub a little bit of this on. Just to kind of get that pearlesque. Before I do that, there I might. I'm thinking I might put a little bit of the white sands on there first, because then that way it'll give me an overall kind of pearlesque, and then put this color on top of that. I think it'll be pretty, really pretty. And so we're gonna just. Come back over top of that with just a little bit. We're not going to do like the entire shell. 
um, one, we don't want to cover up too much and we don't want to cover up our barnacles at all. We don't want them to be the shiny part, but we just want a little bit of this because they have that, you know, the shells have that like, well, I don't know if clam shells do, but our clam shell does. Okay. So we don't want to cover up too much. Just want to be careful in where we put this. That we don't cover up and so now we kind of have a little bit of a sheen going we kind of covered up a little bit of our detail but I'm just going to take my finger and pull back a little bit in that center especially where it caves in where maybe you wouldn't see as much and you would just see that shine on the edges I'm just going to scrape that back Okay, now I'm going to go back to my wax. Actually, let me dry that real quick. Oh, before I get stuff going, let me let me cover these up before I get air going because I'll have that stuff everywhere. <laughs> that stuff will be blowing everywhere. That would not be good, would it? <laughs> Okay, now let's go back to our waxes and our rub-on pigments. Now we can kind of follow where we have that other and just work in our different colors. This is the ocean, Midnight Ocean. And then I have the fire, or not the fire, but I have the rainforest. I have a fire gold too, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on using that one, I think. Don't think I want that red in here. And so you can use your finger. If you use your finger, I would suggest just touching your finger in here and then putting it in there. But my fingers sometimes get big and I don't know. I just don't want to. Use them. Okay. We're just going to put this on the, well, I might put a little bit on the bottom down here, but just a little bit where, not on the inside, but on the outside. Just a little bit, maybe. Did I get a hair in there? Is that a hair? I can't tell. I think so. I think it is. <laughs> I'll dig it out later if it is. Or it might just be where I... A pencil line. I hope not. I covered it. And then we're going to do the same thing for down here. Just a little bit though. Not much. I'm just wiping on a little bit of that wax. Just a little bit. And then coming in with that pigment. It interacts with the wax. And then you can see the colors of it.
and the wax will dry. Thank you. And so now for our little barnacles, which I hadn't really planned a whole lot for those, but since they turned out so amazing, we've got to do something amazing with them, right? Hold on. Let me grab something. Looking for my, a particular wax, which is this color. Nope, not. I don't think I want that color. Come on. Where are you at? Okay, yeah. Let's let's try this. Let's try this and see if we like this. It is pretty. I'm loving it. But I got to hurry up. This is a green. This is another wax. This is just called green, I think. Yep. I have another one too, but I kind of like this color with the brown. It kind of looks like a barnacle in the ocean, doesn't it? And it brings them out. <laughs> I'm going to hit them with another color in just a minute. That's going to do even more. I'm going to do a little heavier than what I had on that one. I like the heavier. I did a little heavier on this one, and I'm like, ooh, I like that. I'm like, oh, I like that a lot. And if it gets a little bit on my shell, it's okay. Maybe it, maybe it's growing, you know, and it's like going to take over the shell if it's not taken off, right? I think let's try the expand paste. Let's just try it. See if we can get a big old pearl. That would be pretty awesome if we could. And I carry all these waxes on my website. Every one of these is carried on my website. This is a special. I'm just going to put a little bit of this gold wax on my actual um whoop. that was brilliant amina um on my actual shell because this is this is a special 
This is carrying the like hope pearl of the ocean, right? Thank you. I think it's pretty, really pretty. I mean, I know it's hard to not to see it on camera, but I think it's actually turning out really pretty. All right. I'm like, where's my brush? I'm going to paint a circle. I'm going to attempt to paint a circle the size I want. And it's going to be big, guys. So a big old pearl, right? I mean, it's not going to be bigger than the shell, obviously. But I want to get a, let's complete a circle. <coughs> Goodness sakes. <coughs> I went to talk it. Mm. Stole my words. <clears throat> the best circle I can get <clears throat> That's a pretty big pearl. What do y'all think? Y'all think it's Hope Diamond size pearl? I don't know about that. But that's a pretty big pearl to find in the ocean. I'm like... I'm glad. Oh, I love it. All right, I'm going to dry it real quick. And then we're going to have some fun with it. And of course, it's going to dry back a little bit. <clears throat> why is my... Why, is, why are you not... Hold on, guys, for a second. My... I'm fighting my phone here. My phone's go down me now. I'm gonna miss y'all's comments because it wasn't. There we go. I got it. That's the one I want to find too. You're not kidding. Although you probably have to dive real deep for that one, like deeper than I'm gonna go in the ocean. So good luck with that. Right? Give it just a second coat. Dry back happens. It happens in every. So you have to prepare for it. Just come in with a little second coat. <coughs> mm. Good, great. <clears throat> mm. All right. That's the one I want to find. That's definitely, that's definitely the one I want to find. 
Like I wouldn't have to worry about working. <laughs> I wouldn't have to worry about it. I'd be like, y'all. <clears throat> I can retire rich. Just going to use a little bit of the white sands. I'm going to a little chai latte for a minute. Just want a little, <coughs> a little darker. Dang, I still can't get over that. It's just like something just slipped on my voice right away. It's going to come in on the back side, underneath of it, just a little bit. And that's going to give us just a little bit of a dimension. I'm not going all the way around. I'm just kind of coming down that one side and underneath the bottom. And I'm not going to go up on the other side. A little bit, maybe. Just a little, just a little bit. But I kind of held off on when I put the pearl in there, um, the white sand in there. I didn't take it all the way to that edge. <clears throat> And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my other one, my, my smaller brush. I'm going to go into a little more of that chai latte, more of the chai latte just by itself. And I'm going to just come on the outside, do the same area, but just in that chai latte, not with it mixed with the um, cream puff so it's a little tad bit darker and I'm just going to do that same I'm not going to go quite as far I'm not going quite up as quite as high I want to make sure I get fully under that bottom and then all of a sudden our Pearl is looking very 3D-ish. We've got that dark in there behind that. So it's going to look very 3D-ish. I'm going to go a little bit into that black-brown mixture I had. And I'm just going to come in here at the very bottom. Kind of right where it's sitting. And give it just a little bit of a shadow. On the bottom. That's a little too dark. That's a little too, too dark. So I'm going to just come back on top with a little bit of chai latte. Which is going to lighten it just enough that it makes it the correct color and not, not too dark. There we go. <clears throat> now, just because we have that beautiful wax, we're going to use a little bit make it work to our advantage here. I'm going to put a little bit in this top corner. Oh, one, two, okay. Thank you. 
But for goodness sakes. <laughs> I'm trying to put the wrong top on the wrong thing. I did that one time. I put the wrong top on one of the things. And I tell you what. I had the toughest time getting that top off. <clears throat> mm, goodness. Just a touch of this gold. Just because this is a special pearl. I want that to be quite that dark right there. There we go. And there is our infamous pearl that we have been in search of all week long. We all think, does it look 3D? I think it looks 3D. And I don't think we need to add the expand paste on it. We've got this beautiful texture happening all over there. And again, I'm going to do the exact same thing I did on all the others. I'm going to use Caribbean Cooler for the sides. <clears throat> I got a work meeting coming up in like 15, 18 minutes, 17 minutes, something like that. I got to hurry up. One thirty. I'm like, who calls a one thirty meeting Friday morning? <laughs> I was like happy that I had. I thought I was going to escape all day with no meetings. I'm like, how is this? Yay. And then. About nine o'clock this morning. Can you go to this one thirty meeting? Sure, I can be there. <laughs> but there it is. <clears throat> it's done. Thank you, D. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Teresa. It's a lot of fun. And I know many of you are joining me for the paint and retreat, but if you are not, you're going to miss it all the fun. Because we're going to be doing the mermaid and our sea turtle and a fun beach bag. That is just going to be so much fun. Hold on, let me, I'm going to just switch. Yeah, I use my mouth to hold my paintbrush more than you realize, probably. It's a habit I've had to kind of get out of because for my lives because I can't talk with it. So, um, <laughs> but... I do do that a lot. I'm getting a reminder for the meeting. There's a meeting. I know. 15 minutes. I'll be off. I'll be done. Back upstairs. Got to take her out. Y'all know I like to tip my edges just because it gives a nice little like. But there it is. <clears throat> there is our barnacle clamshell. I don't know if the clamshells get barnacles or not, but ours did. And so there they are. But look at that texture that gave us. I'm kind of really loving that stuff. I'll have to find other, I'll have to find something else to do with that too. And so, um, 
but I'm, I'm thinking through a stencil would be gorgeous, right? And especially if it does this uneven stuff, because that would be just like a little like, I don't know. And all of them, this might be my favorite from the week. This might be my favorite. I don't know. I really like the seahorse. I really like them all. But this might be my favorite one. We saved it for last, right? So if you are not with me, join me for the paint and retreat. I'll show again what we're doing. Here is the <clears throat> mermaid. In all of these pieces that we have done this week, I'm giving the tracers for all of these. And look how pretty they would just all go together. And then here is the turtle. It's $22, guys. I mean, these are two big pieces. You could sell them for well above $22 and make as many as you want. And here's our beach bag filled with all our stuff ready for the beach. <laughs> it's ready, guys. Anyway, I'm going to say bye and go upstairs, get cow walked, and get ready for my meeting. Y'all have a great rest of your day. I will see you all later. Bye.